I shy away from wanting to be really the best version of myself individually. And if that means winning individual accolades, then so be it. But my sole focus here isn't about being the best player and winning the Brownlow. I feel if I do everything right, those things take care of themselves. From now through to about February, I've got to get a really high quality body of work where I'm not missing a hell of a lot of sessions so that I can help lead and implement our game plan. Today. Yeah, you know, lose all concept of what day it is when you're just on the treadmill. He's relentless. He's relentless in the search for perfection within himself um, and then perfection within the team. And obviously, pushing yourself is one thing, pushing a team's quite another, but to lead and lead effectively, uh, you need to set the example, and that's what he's doing now. almost 100% sure of what I think you have today. The main thing is to get him strong um, muscle-wise, so his, his legs, get them strong enough to handle the intense running he's going to need to do. There are other elements of um, some physiology laid on top of it and psychology about it, what can he tolerate and all the rest of it, but the primary aim is to get strong. It's more of like a strength session than a endurance cardio session. <laughs> I've got this blister under my foot, which is going to cause all sorts of trouble. I've played through ankles, massive corks, ribs, all sorts of shit. Blisters sometimes <laughs> can bring the whole establishment to a standstill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Ronaldo that bought his physio a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All this preparation just to run up and down the hill four or five times. Job well done. In the past, I've sort of gone into pre-seasons following danger a bit and juddy and different things with my body and what I want to achieve, but I think I really understand my body now and what it's capable of. Absolute replication, no quicker. Okay rather than focusing energy on exploring the parameters and where we can go, I feel it's a bit more like consolidate now and make sure I'm ready to go for a full year and sort of focusing on dragging other people up to that level along with me because I've felt like I've explored and done really good things on the back of stuff that Jason Webb has told me. Really, he's the mastermind behind it all. It's now helping spread his message to the next like down and he can spread it to the next person. Now the fun stuff starts. You can't do what we've asked him to do today and in previous years if you're not into it individually. But then he's now really into the team in that he wants to deliver for the team and uh, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, it's got to start with the individual. I remember playing with Ryan O'Keefe as a first year player and he just destroyed me physically. I thought I was in really good aerobic running nick and he just tore me to shreds. So, okay, this is where I am, that's where Ryan O'Keefe is. How do I get to his level? And then there's going to be kids watching me and coming after me. And I guess I did the same thing, though, didn't I? <laughs> Back when I was a kid. So there's a party that goes, right, if he's coming for me, then where am I going next? Come on, you dictate. We worked really hard this morning, fast, and equally above what anyone else I would imagine in probably the group or the AFL is doing at the moment. There's one or two things I know he'd like to do, but uh, some more dynamic, explosive things, but it's just not working. He's, he's trained really hard, got everything he wanted, so there's no point overcooking it now. Who do you like to do? The repeat stuff. There's just like little mental battles all the way through it. thought I was gone at one point. I thought that porridge was coming up. Wow, that's over. 